You've spent hours on your computer and then you stand up and the world looks like this. That, my friend, is ciliary spasm. Hello, this is Weida. Nothing to do with the drug, but everything to do with your eyesight. In this video, I will be talking about ciliary spasm and how that is a trap to believing you have this mysterious genetic condition called myopia. The truth is, most of us are born with perfect 2020 eyesight. That includes me, most likely includes you too. Real genetic pathological myopia is extremely rare. It does happen, but it's really rare. So what actually happens? Well, first, let's take a look at the eye. In order to see clearly, the rays of light or the image must converge exactly on the retina. If it's behind the retina, then it's blurry. If the image is in front of the retina, then it's blurry. Fortunately, your eyes have this amazing mechanism that allows you to see any object in any distance perfectly clearly. This is done by shaping the lens of the eye by this thing called the ciliary muscle. For objects far away, the ciliary muscle relaxes. This will make the lens thinner to allow for the distance because the light doesn't need to be bent that much, basically. However, for objects up close, the ciliary muscle needs to contract. This is to make the lens more convex to bend the light in order for it to converge on the retina. This mechanism is called accommodation. I mean, not like a hotel accommodation, but you know, biology accommodation. Now, what does that tell us? Our eyes are basically built for distance vision. I mean, our eyes need to do work to look at things up close. The sad thing is, in the modern world, we spend lots, lots of time up close. Now, when you've spent hours and hours on close-up, the ciliary muscle contracts so much that it eventually spasms. It locks up, it can't relax. Almost like a muscle cramp, except you can't really feel it because there are no pain receptors in the ciliary muscle, so you actually can't feel it like, you know, like... So now, when you look at the distance, because the ciliary muscle is locked in that close-up mode, the image now can't converge on the retina because the lens is basically too convex. The image will fall in front of the retina. This is called myopic defocus. And now you're nearsighted. Now there are fancy words to describe this. One being near-induced transient myopia or pseudomyopia. Now, let's unpack those words. Near-induced transient myopia. Near-induced means coming from near work. So basically, the near work induces something. Transient means temporary. Hmm, and myopia means myopia. Now, pseudomyopia. Pseudo, that means not real. Huh. So ciliary spasm is not really myopia? So in reality, this is not really myopia and you weren't myopic at all. To call someone myopic is really referring to their axial length. The length of the eyeball is longer if someone is myopic. And this is for another video. You've just spasmed the ciliary muscle from too much close work. Now, if you've never worn glasses, then this is actually really easy to fix. All you have to do is spend less time up close and more time in distance vision. Eventually, you'll give time for the ciliary muscle to relax and everything will go back to normal. But this isn't really the case for most of us. Due to the exposure from the mainstream and from word of mouth, most of us think that we have some genes that predispose us to become myopic. Even though, in reality, it's just a muscle spasm. What happens is... Oh no, oh no, I'm experiencing blurry vision, which means I'm genetically predisposed to having myopia, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's not like I just spent 10 hours watching Netflix all day, but I just have the genes, you know, and the genes. All right, time to get some glasses. And of course, the fun begins from there, which will be covered in the next video. So that's it for this short video. I am planning to do more of these short explanation videos to explain little concepts of myopia and enmiopia. My goal is to explain these scientific concepts in a way that's approachable, accessible by everyone without being too didactic or formal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. 
and consider subscribing to the channel and do comment down below when did you start experiencing blurry vision and what brought you to getting glasses in the first place until then here's to 2020 and god bless Stuff and they browse the stuff and. Ow. My eyes.